Hey, what is going on guys? The Fishing Mix here and welcome back to another progress video. This time we have progress video number 8 and we're starting this one off with another agility level. Here comes level 61 agility at the Sears course. Got 7 marks of grace from this level, which I thought it would be more, but it's it's not. But 7 marks of grace added to the 9 that we already have. That's 16 marks of grace, which is, I guess, kind of juicy. We're just on the road to getting full graceful at the moment. Um, and then every single mark after that will be spent obviously on amylase for money so that's 16 uh, 16 marks of grace we also have 19 million three hundred sixty two thousand which is pretty juicy um i just been i haven't really been working on the money but what i'm actually going to do is, is i'm going to go to nightmare zone um i know i said that i was going to wait until i had 20 mil to buy my gear back but i am going to buy back my torags go to nightmare zone and go try and get some points for her boxes because we don't have any herb boxes, uh, and we're waste. That's us wasting cash right there, not having any points to buy herb boxes. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of points, buy some herb boxes, and we'll go from there. So guys, <laughs> I went and bought 500 keys, which is actually an hour's worth of keys. I believe it's about an hour's worth anyway. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all of these keys, all 500, see what we get from it, see how much profit we make. And stuff like that. I actually bought them for the cheapest price I could possibly buy them for. I left them on for like five hours overnight whilst they bought. I didn't actually go to the nightmare zone yet. As you can see, I haven't gone. Uh, I, I am going to go. I am going to go, but I'm going to do these keys first. Try and get my money up. Because uh, right now, there, I literally have no money. It's all in these keys and a few potions. Because uh, that's 11 mils worth. And there is 4 mils worth. And then there's a few in potions and the G. Flipping them as I do. Um, but we're gonna we have to make the keys first because it's actually a lot cheaper than buying them But this is how I make them. I literally just take out 14 of each uh, smack them here like this and just Spam them like so it's actually better to do it like that, but spam the keys like that Bank them whoops Bank them and then just go from there. So you actually drag this one and put it there And then you can spam them up and down. I feel like that's easier than spamming them left and right personally but I don't know but there you go you just got to do that uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying uh, full crystal keys you could actually do this and then sell just the keys back instead of going open up all the chest you could probably make um, about the same amount actually from just selling the keys back and I, I don't know I, I might test that and see if it would be better to just sell the keys back or not because uh, like it, it depends on the prices obviously but we could probably just sell the keys back and make a shit ton of profit. So I actually just checked, and it, from these 500 keys, I could easily make about, I think it was about 250k profit. But that is like, the thing is, it's like no work. All you gotta do is just craft the keys like this. But I could just go and spend a little bit of time on them and get like almost a mil. So I, I think I'm gonna do that instead of just selling them. Uh, it's gonna take me about an hour. Actually, I don't know. I don't know whether I should just sell them back because. If I just sell them back and just leave them in at a high price, then I can just go to Nightmare Zone for a little bit. So I feel like... You know what? I'm going to do that this time around. I don't usually do that. I usually do go and use them all. But I'm going to do it this time around and just sell them back and sell them for as high as I can. It, it could be between 250k and 500k, depending on how much I sell them for. So if I can get them to sell for a high price. like what you, I guess what you could do is just buy like a bunch of these uh, when, like the, when the tooths and the loops low price and then sell them when the keys are a high price which would make you a lot of profit this is kind of like unicorn horns this reminds me a lot of doing unicorn horns but obviously you actually have to do a lot less because like unicorn horns i was like grinding like four thousand an hour or some shit if i was really efficient but and then you just about get like you know a mil an hour but then this you've only got to make 500 keys and you could easily make like maybe 1k off each key which is 500k and look, I've already done this many, and I really haven't been doing it for long. It is it is really click intense, obviously, because you just got to click back and forth. But you could easily set up an AHK for this. I'm just not using one. Because uh, if I was to set my AHK up for this, then I wouldn't be able to set it up for banking. And I just, I don't know, I'd rather it for banking, because I, I don't know. I feel like it's like, you know, this you can kind of do brainless type thing. It's just like, oh, you know, fucking like a zombie. But you can uh, do the other thing uh you know, it, I, I don't know, I don't think I can bank like a zombie, it's just, I, I don't like doing it, but, and I know I should really be at, like, Castle Wars doing this, I can just fucking click on the bank, but I'd rather just stay here, but, yeah, let's uh, do all these keys.
Okay, so I decided to gain some of the keys because they've been in here for a while and they still haven't sold and just like, they're not gonna sell at, at the price that I want them to sell so I may as well just go and fucking do them. Uh, I'm gonna go and do them now. Time how long it takes me to do 500. It should take me about an hour, if I'm correct, but um, also I was doing this thing with silver bars last night. That was making me quite a, quite a good bit of profit. This was actually 500k an hour pretty easily. Um, all you have to do is just smelt silver bars into uh, silver ore and smelt silver bars. 500k an hour at blast furnace is crazy. Uh, don't know why no one's doing this, but 500k an hour, it's pretty good XP as well. So go and do it, guys. Silver ore into silver bars. Juicy. So, guys, here it is. Here is the dank house profit. I actually think I made a lot more than I thought I was going to make. I. Oh, holy shit, I did. <laughs> what? I actually made 1.6 mil off of all that. Like, no joke, I made 1.6 mil. Holy fuck, because as you can see here, 16.837222 is what I sold everything for, and I actually bought all those keys for 1.5, uh, 15.27 mil. We're up to 20 mil with our melee gear. Holy shit, boys, crystal fucking keys are the way to go. That was 50 minutes work, and I made about 1.6 mil. I could be... There goes my alarm. I, c I could have made about 2 mil. Maybe 1.8 from an hour. That is fucking disgusting. Ooh, look how juicy it is, boys. The fucking Vandos chest plate and the fucking Amulet of Fury. Like, holy shit. I never thought I'd ever get my account to this point where I'd actually have a BCP and a fucking Fury and just all this stuff. I, f I don't know why, but I just feel like for me, this account, this account is just insane. Like, I, I know for a lot of people, it's nothing. But for me, it really is like a huge achievement. Uh, we still have 5 mil left as well, and I am going to be selling the Battle Chest Plate back, obviously. It's not something that's going to be permanent. Uh, it will become permanent <laughs> at a later date, because it costs like 15 mil or something like that, plus the amulet, which is 3 mil or, or some shit. I think I, no, I think it was like 12 mil. Uh, yeah, 12 mil, so it's, it's pretty crazy to see to see that, you know. It, it really is like just having a Battle Chest Plate. It's just, it's very beautiful, but our... These are our stats right now. We have a plus 140 melee strength, plus 6 prey. Where am I getting that 6 prey from? Is it from the Fury? Holy shit. Uh, a bunch of slash and everything and all this other stuff. But basically, uh, what we're going to be doing is, is I'm just going to go train some shit at the Nightmare Zone for a little while. Get some uh, dank ass uh, herb boxes and stuff because I said that I was going to do Nightmare Zone for a long time and i just been putting it off. But... I'm gonna go do it now, it shouldn't take me too long, I'll, I'll see how long I can last in there with this gear setup, but I'm, I'm thinking this is pretty nice, you know, I actually need my Dwarven Rock Cake. Um, but yeah, it just it's crazy to see this gear on me, you know. And there we go, it's 53 at mining, that is a very another juicy level to get. And yeah, we're just gonna continue on with some mining, I know I didn't mention that I'd be doing any, but I'm gonna do some just for a little bit, get some pay dirt, try and get them at Golden Nuggets. I wanna really get a coal bag and stuff like that at some point, but the coal bag is quite a while away, but I really do want one. The wheel goes 54 mining, we're just one mining off being able to get mithril ore, which means that when we do it, it'll actually start coming out in the sacks. That's even more money for us. And there we go, 55 mining. Fucking finally, that is some sexy shit, boys. Just been grinding from 52 to 55 here. Uh, never thought that I'd do that, but I don't know. I'm just kind of into mining at the moment. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Uh, I'm trying to save it for the coal bag right now. I'm actually talking to this guy here, works sighted, pretty cool guy. Uh, just talking about YouTube and some other shit. But gonna add him up. There we go. And uh, yeah. I'm loving this beautiful mithril in here as well now. Ooh, very juicy. Well, that is a beautiful 151k added to the bank just from doing a little bit of mining that, you know, kind of had to be done anyway. So it's good that I did it in the middle of mine. Collected some iron and gold ore. There you go, guys. I just missed a smithing level, unfortunately, but level 53 smithing is going along pretty nicely right now. I was done with the... Uh, with the with the mining grind to 55 for a little while, and I've run out of run out, blah, 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 run out of run out energy. But either way, I was done with the uh, smithing grind for a little while. With the mining grind, fucking Jesus. Uh, and then I did some more crystal keys, something like 22.4 mil, something like that. And now I'm just working on uh, making some silver bars, and yeah, they're good XP, good uh, good money. Just trying to make some more money, make some more bank, going for some different methods, but. This is how much money I got right now, 22.1, plus obviously all this silver and the silver ore, etc. It's going along pretty nicely. 
And there we go guys, 56 mining, another nice level to get. Uh, don't know how much mithril or anything we got from this level, but I don't believe it was too much. Uh, we're going for 60, we are, but I, I don't think I'm going to get it today. I, I don't know, like I could easily, I could easily get it today, it's just I don't know whether I had the motivation to do it or not. Uh, it's going to take me like at least 3 hours to get to 60. I'd like to get 61 for the dragon pick, obviously. But like I said, we are actually going for the coal bag. Uh, I do have the prospector boots from before, but I, I guess I could go for for full prospector. I am going to be here until 99. I'm not going to go power mining iron or anything. Just purely because power, power mining iron is just so much clicking that I'm just not willing to do, to be honest. But... It's starting to get a lot faster mining this pay dirt now. Just the higher level we get, the faster it's coming. It's great. It's it's super good because it just means more materials for us, you know. And you get you get quite a bit of gold, and this is actually faster, I'd say, than just mining gold. I, I don't know actually, probably not, but it's it's got to be pretty close. It is so cold in Wales right now. Like if if I look at the temperature, it is. I think it was like minus three when I woke up. Probably I think it was minus four temperature in Cardiff. Oh, okay, it's minus two. Minus two C 29F. It is fucking freezing. Like, literally, it was so cold downstairs in my house that fucking, like, you'd literally just breathe out smoke inside. Like, it's it's a lot warmer upstairs, but I've just been downstairs to get something to eat. Oh, fucking... Fr my nips, man. Oh, they're so hard, but shit. On that way to, uh, 57 mining, we are halfway through the level. Just... You know, watching some TV and shit. I think we're almost at 40 nuggets, which means we can possibly buy something else. I don't know. I think these boots are only 30, so it's possible we could buy something else. Uh, I really want to get the body and the legs, because they look pretty sexy, as you can see. Helmet's the last thing I want to get, because i got the graceful hood. Um, yeah. So, guys, just hit 40 nuggets. We need 10 more for the legs, or 20 more for the jacket. Or we could buy the helmet right now. I don't know whether to just go for the helmet right now or whether I should go for the jacket or legs. Uh, I feel like I might just go for the legs. I, I don't know, because I could go for the helmet and replace the... You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go for the helmet. So then we'll have the helmet and the boots. They all get the same amount of XP rate, I believe. But we don't really use... The Graceful isn't really that useful here anyway. But now we have Prospector Boots and Prospector Helmet. Very juicy. There we go, guys. 57 mining. We've actually got a system update coming in about, you know, just under 10 minutes now. Uh, I believe this is the update for uh, for silver jewelry, which is pretty awesome. I think it is. I, I'm not 100% sure, but the poll did pass about two weeks ago or maybe even just a week ago. But I know that they were developing the jewelry either way because I'm pretty sure that they were just going to keep polling it until it came in. And I'm pretty sure they were, like, 100% sure that it was going to be pulled in because it was such a good idea for an update and it's there's so many good things that are going to come from this new jewelry so hopefully uh that is what this update is for if not kind of upsetting but updates are always nice um updates come every thursday so that is pretty great they always come at like a random time though like right now it's going to come at like 10 10 11 in the morning which is just such a strange time for an update to roll out for a game but Either way, 57 mining and an update soon. So the update has been rolled out, and I'm just going to quickly go through it like as quickly as I can. Basically, there's been a ballista rework in which you can't use it without Monkey Madness 2 and 75 range. Uh, there's been Tavoli and Cosmic Altar shortcuts, which I actually want to go look at the uh, Tavoli one. There's one in Tavoli Dungeon now, which could actually speed up my runs a little bit until I get 65 agility uh, to summon by the pipe. Uh, I do still need to use a summer pipe, but that's when I need to get it to 63. I could even use an agility potion. Uh, the barrow's reward counter has been changed, and so now it's actually a, a percentage that tells you your reward potential. So we need to definitely go check that out. Uh, there's been a Seer's Ring buff, which is awesome. Uh, now it is a plus 6 magic attack instead of a plus 4, and also that applies to its imbued form. So now instead of a plus 8 on the imbued, you get a plus 12. Um, none of the, you know, stuff that I wanted, I, we didn't get the silver jewellery, unfortunately, but, um, there's a lot of, like, the Slayer logs, uh, now display the number, construction cape updates, loads of other shit, but basically we're gonna get some, uh, some mage gear, and then we're just gonna go and try out, uh, these, we're, we're gonna go do some blue dragons, 
but we'll try out the shortcut and stuff on the way there. Well, that... <laughs> I'm so pissed. I sold my Sears ring the other day. Like, literally yesterday or the day before for 600k. Now they're sat... Oh my god, they're not even buying. Oh no, this is so upsetting. Please don't say they're one mil. Oh! <laughs> no! I could, I could have made so much money. Oh, this makes me cry so hard. Like, <laughs> why would they do this to me? <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset. That is so annoying. Fucking bastards, man. Fucking bastards. Oh, I hate people. So, I'm just going to show you uh, this new shortcut. It's in the Tower of the Dungeon, like I said, but it, it should save a bit of time. I don't think it's going to save, like, an immense amount of time, like the, um, time to make dollar on the Sears Rings boys. Wow, really? Ah, <sighs> that makes me cry. Like, if I, I, I genuinely did not know that update was coming out. I looked at all the polls, and I didn't see anything about buffing the Sears Ring in, like, the past couple of weeks. So it must have been polled a long time ago or something. But, damn, I could have made so much money if I would have just bought a few. Like, if they were, like, 600k each, I had, like, 20, 22 mil. I could have bought quite a few of them earlier, or yesterday or something. But this is the pipe that I want to be able to get through. Unfortunately, we just can't. Uh, but it'll save, like, a minute 30 on each run. But this should save a little bit of time. We'll have a look now. Uh, I'll show you where it is. It's basically by the by the demons, uh, the greater demons, or the lesser demons, whatever the fuck they are. There's actually a shortcut there now. So let's quickly have a look see what it's like uh, at least now I don't need to bring a stamina at least I don't think so but yeah there's no shortcut here okay nice so I shouldn't be able to squeeze through it without a summer pie I cannot know eat a summer pie and squeeze through very sexy and then obviously just use our uh, beautiful key to get through and here we are blue dragons so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, it looks like I won't be selling the Sears ring back, so I'll probably lose a bunch of money on it if I sell it back. But we just need to uh, quickly hop world here and start killing some dragons. Now you tell me that that isn't the sexiest sight that you've ever seen on all of fucking Earth. Just, oh, it's just so beautiful. We just did a few trips of blue dragons. We should have quite a lot of blue dragon hides and, blue, and dragon bones in our bank. I have no idea where I put these things, though. Like, is, is there a certain tab that I put these things in? I'm pretty sure there was. Apparently not. So we have 46 of each. That should be a good amount of money. Plus those drops there. I think I had like a few uh, adamant ores as well. But this is... You know what? Let's fucking do this. Take that out. 275k. Pretty decent, actually. Um... I was I was actually expecting less. I was expecting a lot less actually. Um interesting. We're going to be doing some more goddamn motherfucking crystal keys which do always take uh, a significant amount of time. It's going to take me about half an hour, maybe no, nah, okay, it's going to take me about 25 minutes to do the amount that I have. Should be making a good amount of profit from it though depending on how lucky I am. That's the one bad thing about crystal keys is that it's basically pure luck. There we go guys, all of our crystal keys are done. We're now at 18.5 mil with our gear here. So I think we're at about 23 mil. I'm not completely sure because this was 1 mil to buy or somewhere around that. These are like 1 mil each. This was a mil. So that's how much? 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4 extra mil. Let's say 5 uh, just to kind of round it, round it off a little bit. So five minutes. So we're about 23 mils. Pretty nice. Uh, we're going to keep going, keep trying to make money, keep making gains, basically. And I'll see you guys I then. I swear to God. Oh. That's interesting, but I swear to God, if I fail one more time, I'm going to fucking kill myself. I'm using Conduit Client now as well, so I can actually see the boxes and shit, but I swear to God, I will kill myself if I fall one more time on this fucking jump. Praise the Lord. I've literally fallen like five times in a fucking row. Like, it seems to think that my XP an hour is, like, 22k an hour. Look at this shit! How am I failing so fucking often? 
I'm failing so often. Like yesterday, I was hardly failing, and now I'm failing constantly. The, it seems to think that my XP now is 20k. I'm better off at the fucking wilderness course for for XP right now. But I don't want XP. I want marks. But even then, it's just like Jesus fucking Christ. If I fail, these are the only two objects that you can fucking fail on. I'm pretty. I'm like 100% sure that that's true. And I just constantly fucking fail. I've been here for like a good five, ten minutes. I don't know, I, this is the second lap that I've completed. Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, conduit client. I actually like it now. Um, the reason I wasn't using conduit in the first place was because I thought that you couldn't res. Well, I knew that you could resize the client. Sorry, but I did not know that. Uh, basically, every time you restarted it, it would reset the client size, and I didn't know if there was a way to like set default client size or anything like that. But finally figured it out. Uh, you can which is pretty cool. You can't set a specific fucking resolution though with like, you can't just like type it in like, I don't know, 12, 8 by 7, 20. You literally have to sit there and fucking perfectly resize it. And my resolution for when I record is like a super weird resolution too. Uh, Cause I want it like a nice size for my screen, but I don't want it too big and stuff like that. So it's uh, 1392 by 783, 16 by 9 resolution. So it scales to uh, 1080p video pretty nicely, but God damn, it took so long for me to like resize it perfectly. Really fucking super annoying, but yeah, we're almost at- we're, we're at 57 mining, guys. I, I just didn't even realize, like, we're, we're just grinding out these skills recently, you know, and I'm actually kind of liking it. Uh, I've been playing a lot of hours a day. Mark, give it to me. I've been playing a lot of hours a day, which is, um, kind of weird for me, because, like, there was a point where I only play for, like, maybe maximum about 30 minutes a day, and now I'm just fucking playing constantly, like, I just don't stop. It's it's so weird to like see that for me. That's this amount this amount of dedication to a game to one game, you know. But yeah, what I'm actually gonna do is next. Uh, I'm just going for 62 here. It should it's gonna take me about. Uh, I'm not sure. It's gonna take me about half an hour to an hour max. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm gonna try and go for 73 range. But the problem is, is with Nightmare Zone, which is what I've been using to train my range, I keep getting DC'd when I'm in Nightmare Zone. I don't know why, but it's just whenever I'm in Nightmare Zone, I get DC'd. So I, I don't know what's with that, but it's like they really don't want me to do Nightmare Zone. They don't want me to get that Toxic Blowpipe, because I swear to God, I would have had it by now. Like, I, I would have done it on Monday. Right now it's Thursday, and I would have done it on a Monday. And I probably, actually no, I probably would have got, got it done by Tuesday, maximum. But then I just kept getting DC and it just completely put me off because I was really low on points in general because I've been spending it all on her boxes and then I spent it on imbu uh, imbuing my warrior ring. So I was just like, oh, you know what? Whatever. Um, I can just like go back there at some point with like a few absorptions to just slowly build up like I did before. But every single time I go to slowly build up, I drink all my absorptions, get to a thousand so I can just AFK a little bit and I fucking DC and lose it all. And it just resets me back to exactly where I was. So... Nothing I can really do about that, but, you know. And there we go, guys, 58 mining, getting it all so much closer to 59. Super juicy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do something that's completely overdue and what I should have done a shit ton of time ago. And that is complete all of the free-to-play quests where you got Black Knight's Fortress, Demon Slayer, Pirate's Treasure, Prince Ali Rescue, Shield of Arav, and Witch's Potion. I still have not done any of those quests, and I'm still at 70 quest points. So I'm going to get them all out of the way. They're all super fast quests anyway. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to do some other quests as well. I'm just going to try and do like a whole day of questing because I want to go and do Tears of Gothic. Uh, I can now do Tears of Gothic again today. It doesn't actually say, but it said earlier. But the higher your quest points, the longer you get in there. So I want to get my quest points up first. I kind of want to try and get Pro Proselyte or whatever it's called. Um, the armor that gives you prayer bonus from Slug Menace and stuff like that as well. So I'm going to go do some questing. There we go, Black Knight's Fortress done. That's another three quest points for like a five minute quest. Totally worth doing. But yeah, there we go, Black Knight's Fortress done. Okay, so we're doing Demon Slayer now. And look at this dank gear setup. Isn't this the best gear setup you've seen? God damn, I'm so fucking pimped out right now. I got that adamant armor with the fucking whip and the defender. <laughs> I literally have like no armor in my bank, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna put on <laughs> I'm just gonna put on adamant armor, you know? Fuck it. And obviously I don't need the whip, because I'm gonna be using the silver light, I'm pretty sure, but I need to buy the bones for this because I'm way too lazy to go and get 25 bones, but bones there we go. 
Sexy. This game's just so fucking lame. This guy. <laughs> it's called. It's called surprising. Like you know, surprising. I think that's so fucking lame. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I remember when this kid was like super difficult to kill. He's level fucking twenty-seven. I thought he was like level two hundred or some shit. Like, like wait, there's there's pot up and there's just fucking, let's just whack the cunt. Just really to kill this fucking prick first. Just like how easy is this gonna be? Oh wow, I hit zero on my first hit. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy's defense? Oh, he only has 7 HP. What was that? Oh, God. I, I don't know this. I should have written this down. You know what? We're just going to go in order. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I was meant to write this down, apparently. But I didn't. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, run away. There's nothing I can do. Okay, there we go. We went to run away and go uh, write okay, it down. Okay, this cunt's going down. I got it. Kill him. Kill him. Get the one hit. Smack him in his tip. Wow. Oh my god, kill me. Come on, just kill him, please. There we go. I've got it now. It is. Carlum. Commit. Commit them in them. Perchai. Abbott. And then Gaben. <laughs> Gabindo. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. There we go. Three more quest points. These are like super easy quests. You get a lot of quest points for them. So, three more quest points. Juicy. And there we go. Pirate's treasure now completed. Two more quest points. Uh, we also got a. You can also use the payfair option to go to and from Karamja. I thought I could already do that. What's in this casket? Ooh, a gold ring and an emerald. Very nice. And there we go, guys. Three more quest points and another free to play quest done. Super easy. That was Prince Ali's rescue. I'm pretty sure now I can just come in and out of our crew without having to pay 10 coins, which was such cancer in the first place. But now we are almost done. We just have Shield of Rav and Witch's Potion left. Uh, those two were pretty easy quests as well, so let's just knock them out. And then I think I'm going to try and get the requirements, or at least, uh, I think it's Shiloh Village, the one that you can unlock gem rocks. And the reason that is, is because they're going to be releasing the silver jewelry soon, which needs uh, the silver, and uh, silver like the jade, the opal, and the topaz. Uh, gems, so they're going to go up in price, so I'm thinking, you know, I may as well go mine there to get my mining up, because you can get like 45k an hour, which is twice as much as what I was getting in my little mine, and I can use that to my advantage to make some money as well, so that's what I'm going to do. So, I can't do Shield of Rav because you need two players for it, um, I could make another account, well, no, I do have another account, but I'm just way too lazy to do that, um, oh, okay, I say that, and someone wants to do it but it's just too much effort i'll do it at another point with with myself because it's just a lot easier than obviously doing it with someone else um yeah and there we go one quest point 325 magic xp um that is basically all the free to play quests done as you can see apart from shield of Arav, like i said um i will be doing that also, like I said, but 82 quest points is pretty juicy. I think what we need for gem rocks is the Shiloh Village quest. Because we've done the Lost Tribe, and I think that unlocks... No, that's nothing to do with Shiloh Village. I don't know. We need to unlock Shiloh Village, I believe, uh, to do this. So, Shiloh Village, we have everything to do it, I believe. I don't think there's any quest requirements uh, that we don't have. But either way, going to get okay, all that. So, it turns out that you need... Um, the Karam Jihad Diaries done. And the reason you need the Karam Jihad Diaries done is to access the bank chest down the bottom of the uh, of the gem rocks. So, if I want to do gem rock mining and get a good amount of money, I'm going to need to do that. But I feel like this, there's a bank in Shadow Village over there anyway. So I could run to that, but then I feel like, you know, I'm going to have to get these done at some point. Anyway, so I've, had, I've written down everything that I'm going to need for the hard diaries. I'm going to need 44 runecrafting. I'm going to need the hero's quest, which I need 53 fishing for. 
Uh, I'm going to need to do Jungle Potion, which I need to do for Shiloh Village. Uh, I'm going to need to do Plague City, which I need to do for Biohazard, which I also, uh, and then I need to do Biohazard for the Underground Pass. Uh, I also need to do Legends Quest and Tybo one Eye Trio, which means that altogether I'm going to need 44 Rune Crafting, 53 Fishing, and 50 Feeding for everything. I think it's 50 Feeding. Yep. And that's, <laughs> I'm about to say that's all I need, but that's a lot of stuff that I gotta get. So that's my overall goal. Um, it's not gonna be done in this episode, it's gonna be done in the next episode. But <sighs> there's, a, there's a lot of stuff to do. Apparently, Legends Quest takes a long time. I think you need two players for either Heroes Quest or Legends Quest. So that's gonna be a difficult one. Um, but we'll, we'll figure something out. I have no, no clue. But I do wanna do some other quests anyway. I wanna do like Horror from the Deep and. Some other some other quests. Uh, I kind of want to do the one to unlock fairy rings as well. I think it's fairy tale part one or maybe even part two, and the mini quests I should try and get done as well. But we're gonna go do uh, our uh, tears of gothics. Okay, time to do our tears of gothics. Need to empty both of our hands apparently, uh, so we can carry the dank ass gold. He literally just mentioned a quest that we did like two seconds ago. Uh, he mentioned pirates treasure. Uh, I believe. You basically mentioned quests that you've done previously and that's how like you get in here or whatever. Oh no, I'm getting so unlucky. I'm literally- I'm getting so unlucky! What the fuck? Oh my- I have cancer. I have fucking cancer. I actually have cancer. I'm getting so fucking unlucky already. God damn. Come on, collect that dank water. Collect it, collect it. See, the thing is, it's like super laggy and I think they did that on purpose just to make it fucking more difficult. Come on. I i don't even know what the highest score is I've had in this, but I've seen people get like 100, 200, shit like that. Oh, no. See, look. Like, you go to click away, and it just, it fucking comes back. It comes back to haunt me in my fucking dreams. Come on. Can we get to 50? If I can get to 50, I'll be very happy. No. 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 Down. 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 Whoa, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. We will level... It'll show our level 16. We are now level 18. That's, that's pretty nice. Um, that's going up slowly but surely. Every week, you know. I could just train it a lot quicker by actually doing farming. But I hate farming. So that's the only reason why I haven't done it. But uh, either way, I am going to end off this progress video here. This has been episode 8. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed making this one for you. In the next episode, we have a lot of progress to make. So hopefully we can get a lot of shit done. But until then, guys, I'll see you then. Peace.